Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. And in this video, I would like to talk about how to care for seedlings. First of all, when I start seeds, I like to use potting soil instead of seed starter mix because potting soil usually has all the necessary nutrients to feed the seedlings for the next three months. That way, I don't have to feed the seedlings during those three months. When it comes to watering the seedlings, I look at the surface of the soil and make sure that it's dry before I water just to prevent some damping off and also I pour the water straight into the bottom of the tray that way I don't wash away the soil and the seedlings stay intact and I make sure that the bottom of this cell block touches the water so the water would be soaked up and the seeds that haven't come up yet I spray them from the top just to make sure that the seeds stay moist at all times and I give them more time to germinate. Right now, the weather outside is nice and I feel tempted to set the seedlings outside, but I'm not going to do that because I know that night temperatures are still cold and there's a very good chance I might forget to bring the seedlings indoors. And also, if I take them outside and bring them indoors, I might also bring gnats into the house and I do not want gnats. Right now, the seedlings are too young to be thinned out. I'm going to give them another couple of weeks and by then, it will be more obvious Obvious which seedlings are stronger and which need to be thinned out. When I see the roots come out of the bottom of these cells, then that's the sure sign that it's time to transplant the seedlings. Right now, the seedlings are too young to be transplanted. I'm going to give them another couple of weeks so they would grow and their roots would get stronger before I transplant them into larger pots. I keep the grow lights on for 17 hours and off for 7 hours and you can see that I keep them pretty low but not too low so the plants wouldn't be touching the grow light and burning and as the seedlings keep growing I'm going to be raising the grow lights up higher as they grow. As it gets closer to the frost free time I'm going to harden off the seedlings and then I will plant them outside in our place where we live it will be end of March and beginning of April. So it's not hard to take care of seedlings if we follow certain steps. I hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you all in our next one. Bye bye!